Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walking Faith. Happy Wednesday. It's August 12th. Hope you're enjoying the day, if you want to follow along. Intimacy is essential. Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. That's Jeremiah. At some point, we will wrestle with why God allows us to suffer, and we wonder if it's because he no longer loves us. But the truth is, some of the greatest lessons we have ever learned come as a result of hardship. During those painful times, if we cling to the Father, we'll gain tremendous insight into his heart and mind. Friend, when you experience trials, realize that God doesn't want to hurt you. Rather, he has great things he wants to teach you, lessons that unfortunately can only be learned through sorrow. So when trouble strikes, be still and ask the Lord to show you what you can learn through the situation. Your Savior is here right now, right beside you. Your loving Heavenly Father is beckoning to you, asking you to draw near and learn His ways. So call on Him. He will answer you. And He will teach you great and mighty things that you need to know. Father, what would you have me learn through my heartache? Teach me, the Lord. I'm listening. Amen. In His presence, call to Him and expect Him to answer. So, pandemic, right? We're still going through it. I know some people are going through it more than, you know, we're in New Jersey now, so it's not as bad. But if you think about that from the beginning to now, what has this experience taught us, whether it's locally, as a nation, um, as a country, um, as a world? What has it taught us? What it's taught me is the importance or reaffirming the importance of a relationship with Christ. I've been saying this every day and I'll continue to say it. The importance of building a relationship, right? During the pandemic or pre-pandemic, a lot of us idolized, whether it was money, it was fame, it was uh, celebrities, it was sports, whatever it was. We had distractions, right? And we realized when those things were taken away that they really didn't hold the value. They really didn't, we really didn't need them in our lives. And what we really needed was family, right? Besides toilet paper, of course. But it was mostly family. Family became more important, the quality time, the time we spend. We always say we don't have enough time. And then when we had more than enough time, we realized that the time that we had, we squandered, right? We didn't use it the right way. So he revealed that to us. But during that pandemic, we could easily have been just stuck on you know, CNN or MSNBC watching the news and complaining and saying, oh my God, the world is falling apart. This is horrible. Why would God allow this? Well, you can look at it in a way that says, God allowed this in the sense that he wanted us to rely on him, to show us, to reveal what's truly important, the foundation of faith. And for us to question ourselves and say, how is my relationship with Christ? What am I doing with my time? All of those things were revealed during this pandemic. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. He wants to reveal within ourselves things that we need to work on. Not because he's, you know, in the corner pointing at us saying, you need to adjust, you need to fix this. Only because he wants us to live a life of joy, of true happiness. And the way we do that is by building a relationship with Jesus Christ. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire and evangelize through words and actions.